One down, here's Craig. It's a pretty good hit and run situation for the Paws Sox. One down with a one run lead. Craig, who does love to go the other way. See if Kevin Bowles thinks about that here. Bradley leads the pitch. He is outside. Now, one thing about a knuckleballer, it's a little bit more difficult to put that kind of play on because with the unpredictability of the motion of that pitch with a knuckleball coming in, it can be hard to ask a hitter, well, you just got to try to make contact. 1-0 to Allen, who has struck out, grounded out, and scored. Here's a knuckleball that floats in. 1-1, one one. he grounded into the force out that got rather Shaw scored, who's on deck. Allen has walked and grounded into a double play. Batting in the three spot for Kevin Bowles tonight. Double play depth for the Tides as Jackie leads. 1-1, one one, the pitch inside with a knuckler, and it's 2-1. But for the Nationals, they get both Ryan Zimmerman and Jason Worth back tonight. So in a lot of ways, Mike Rizzo's club adds without having to make trades near the deadline as Jackie is chased back to the bag. He's got a two-game lead in that NL East. The Mets got Tyler Clifford, and there are a lot of rumors that the Mets are not yet done. We'll see what they try to do. They absolutely asked about Troy Tulowitzki. But I think Tulowitzki voiced a, a strong preference to not play for the Mets. The 2-1. There's a knuckleball in there. Craig again disagrees with Derek Mollican. It's 2-2. Two and two. It's also floating around that the Mets indeed also asked about Andrelton Simmons, the fabulous young shortstop with the Atlanta Braves. 2-2. Two, two. Swing and a miss. He struck him. Knuckleball. Craig not at all happy with himself. Second strikeout of the inning, the sixth of the game for Gamboa. 